I use Casio as now. But why wasn't Arch good enough for me? Let me tell you. So the story went like that. One day, my login manager didn't appear properly after booting up my system. So I restarted and then it worked again. Well, I didn't really mind it, but sometime later it happened again. And I didn't really have the courage or the time to troubleshoot my login manager. So I packed up all my files and looked around what I should do next. The only thing which was sure was that I want to either reinstall Arch or an entirely new system. Because of that I could also remove my unused Hyperland desktop and just clean up my PC. So I looked at one YouTube video of Arch based distributions. Because I still think the workflow and the mindset of Arch suits me the best. One of the presented distros was Atrix Linux, but I didn't really care about the init system, so it had no real benefit for me. Another one was Minjaro, but from what I heard, Minjaro should be Arch but easy, but it is actually bad and breaks all the time. So I stayed away. Another one was Endeavor OS, which is Arch but easy and actually good, but it had no real benefit for me. Like, I didn't find Arch that hard to install, so why should I install Endeavor OS? But the last thing the video presented was Cache OS. Cache OS is also an Arch based distribution, but with an easy installation and a custom kernel plus repository with dozens of optimizations. I think the main optimization is that the program you use gets way more prioritization in computation power than the background tasks, so it feels very responsive and Ah, and well, that sounded really interesting. So I went to the home page and installed it. First, I made my custom USB drive with the Cache ISO and plugged it in. Then I wanted to boot into the live environment, but it didn't work. It was a black screen with a tiny cursor up in the left corner. So what do I do now? But I found the answer pretty quickly. Most of the time you can't boot into the live environment with an Nvidia GPU. So you have to choose the second option, the no mode set mode. With that, the graphics were really bad, but it loaded and I could install the system just fine. I messed up a bit because I immediately forgot my password, so I couldn't log in. So I just installed Cache OS again, and this time with a password I couldn't forget. And after that, I was in Cache OS and everything worked out of the box. Sound, the custom laptop buttons for volume and microphone, and even the touchscreen with my pen. No troubleshooting on anything needed. Like all of this also worked on Arch, but I had to set it up myself. After that, I installed all of my programs and set up my Plasma desktop. And yes, of course I went with KDE Plasma again, because it just works very well with touchscreen and pencils. One thing that annoyed me at first was the fish shell. It was set up nicely, but I didn't really want to use it, because some shortcuts and commands are just different. But luckily, Cache also has a nicely set up CSH shell, which I enabled, and I'm pretty happy with it. And I really like that with Cache come some programs pre-installed but not too many. Mostly utilities for sound management and settings for the screens, but no unnecessary programs like a fresh install of Ubuntu. It finds a really nice balance. Overall, Cache was very easy and straightforward to install. Overall, I think I spent about two hours actively on the computer to set everything up. That means without download times. Arch took me about two weeks to fully configure, but that was expected as a newbie. And now I'm pretty happy with Cache. Games run well, I can work for school, and it doesn't look too bad. What was funny was that after I installed Cache, I got a new video on my YouTube feed about how Cache is the most searched distro right now on DistroWatch. For almost a year and I didn't even notice before I installed it, but I guess I'm using mainstream Linux now. But let me show you around a bit. And here we are on my desktop. It's a pretty simple theming with KDE. It's like a little bit of CatchOS theming built in because CatchOS comes pre-installed with some theming and theming options. I can show them right now. Like here, I just use the Breeze Dark theme as a base and then with the CatchOS colors. This color theme is also very interesting, but I just don't like the green text. So I just use the all black color option. So you have clean black and clean clean white, but this looks also pretty cool. Application style is breeze because I want to have those juicy transparent right click menus 
which you can get if you go into here and then configure the transparency. Plasma style is also the catch US Emerald theme, but it doesn't really matter which one you take from here. And here are the normal breeze. I just like the breeze chameleon icons. They just look pretty cool. They are a bit more rounded, but I also like the normal breeze dark themes. But Cash US comes with the char white icons, but I don't really like them because they are just a little bit too simple for me. And my absolute gold cursor is the ice cursors. There's a whole family of them in black and white and every color you need. I went with white this time and my old desktop I went with the dark cursor. Sounds are not important. Here I use the Catch US Nord startup animation and the, just a normal breeze login screen because this one a little bit ugly like it has too many buttons and looks a bit cheap but everything else looks pretty cool on Cashy. Cashy comes with some default wallpapers which you can see right here. Those are all Cashy wallpapers. Then they have a random KDE wallpaper in there. This is also the default one which is enabled when you first start up but I just used this Cache US wallpaper for the time being until I theme my desktop a bit further but I just love some simple setups which aren't too complicated and too rise. Then we come to the apps I use. This is also even the most important part because Cache comes with nothing out of the box. Some tools that come pre-installed is like Melt and Micro but I don't personally use Micro. I'm more of a Wim guy but I am also not too deep into Wim. I just can do some basic things in Wim. Then I have Docker desktop and yeah kate is right there because of kd plasma hmm. those stuff i don't know what this is never used it then we have visual studio right here in the normal style great for some simple text editing and we also have the rider ide which is also pretty simple to download on linux and i really like the jetbrains ides and i also work all the time with them especially with the student plan where you get all the ides for free for non-commercial use and yeah the LibreOffice Office Suite, I used it again. I'm not the biggest fan of LibreOffice. It is a bit clunky, but I don't use Office that much anyways, so that's fine for me. Then in games, I just have my simple game launchers I need. Steam is here, Itch is here, the Heroic Games Launcher for GOG and Epic Games, and Ghost Runner is also installed right here. And yeah, here we are in a level of Ghost Runner. Like you can see perfectly 144 Hertz on a 2K display and the display can only do 144 hertz so it's basically perfect but let's go back for the graphics i have blender again and skimp for all the thumbnail stuff this time i also have an image viewer because it came with cache os so on arch i didn't have an image viewer i just used the browser but here i have an image viewer and it's also pretty nice i can edit some images which is pretty useful then here maybe we have the most controversial thing what is microsoft edge doing right here but i can tell you it's all for school because in school we use all the microsoft product microsoft accounts and well i need to use them there's no alternative i just use the edge browser because then i can log in with my school account and i can do all my work from here in the browser with the browser apps which work a bit better in microsoft edge and microsoft edge also has a pretty good pdf viewer so i just use this for pdfs and to do work in school. My main browser is actually Firefox and this is the browser I use in private when I'm not in school, when I'm watching YouTube or something like that. Then Discord is also right here and this time I can see that the updates work automatically. That's also pretty nice. Obsidian is also right here for taking notes. And then we have some more pre-installed stuff from Cache, Electricity, a terminal emulator, but I don't use it. I just use console. Then Ptop comes with Cache, which is also just better HTOP. Then Cache OS Hello is the Cache OS app with the apps and tweaks kernel manager and installed apps and so on and so on but i just use normal pacman for everything and yeah that was almost it we have the rog control center right here for controlling my system which also works pretty well 
and yeah i just don't have any problems with my rog flow x16 it works on linux it works on windows just fine no problems all the buttons work like i said all the fans work and we have also my new program for virtual machines i tried to install vmware normally through the website i sold my whole soul to the company and it didn't work at the end so i just used the yay version and this version this version works fine it's pretty fast and reliable so pretty similar to my arch setup the theming is a bit different also i use some different apps but everything else is pretty much the same just now in cash us and yeah this is my new main computer i hope you like this video and if you are a real one you could also get my own video game only control on itch.io which is available for windows and linux tested on this machine i hope you have a real great day and bye bye